Welcome to Living Well with Robin Stoloff, empowering you to live a healthier life. You know, living with a chronic medical condition can be overwhelming, especially in our world today. While there are treatments and medications for almost everything, our lifestyle choices, our nutrition, and our activity level all play a huge role in our health. And on that note, many people are turning to natural remedies such as herbs to help them recover or ease the symptoms of their condition. Joining us now is an expert in herbal and natural remedies. She is an author of more than 20 books, including The Complete Herbal Guide. She's also been a health and lifestyle coach for 20 years, and she's been a guest on local news, various radio shows, and The Dr. Oz Show. She's on a mission to transform the health of millions worldwide. Hallelujah, me too. Welcome to Stacy Chalemi. You're a Jersey girl too, out of central New Jersey. We're in South Jersey. Glad you're here with us today. You have a very interesting journey that led you to your career today. Please share it with us. It's a crazy story, but you know, I, I developed epilepsy at the age of five. You know, my parents had heard a, a funny noise. They came into the room and they saw me turn in blue and in a grand mal seizure. You know, they rushed me to the, the hospital, and I was induced in a coma for four days. They didn't know what was going to happen. The doctors warned my parents. They said, you know, we don't know. You know, if she comes out, she could have severe brain damage or she might be paraplegic. But they weren't looking, you know, very positive. Um, you know, I had developed encephalitis, and it had traveled throughout my brain. The doctors were well aware of that, and they didn't know what the outcome was going to be. But, you know, my, my dad, who is, uh, he's uh, from Greece, he was praying to one of the Greek statues in Greece, and, you know, that was in front of his church when he grew up, and he was asking, you know, he was asking for them to help him and help bring his daughter back, and believe it or not, a couple minutes after he raised his head, I came out and I asked for McDonald's French fries. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny story. <laughs> you know, I, I didn't have brain damage, and I wasn't paraplegic, but I did end up with epilepsy. But I did get my McDonald's French fries, I'll tell you that. I you, know? you did, and the power <laughs> Prayer. I got to say, the power of prayer is the very strong, so I'm glad to hear it. I'm it glad is. to hear that. And then, so tell us from that point to how it led you to your current career. You know, I had I had struggled with epilepsy my entire life. It was a, a roller coaster ride. You know, I I developed it at the age of five. Um, they had me on phenobarbital back then. There weren't many drugs back then to control the epilepsy. And then, you know, afterwards, um, it was controlled for a while. But then, after going through menstruation, ovulation, and body changing, my seizures came back, and I struggled. You know, on and off trying to control my seizures. When I went into college, you know, it was really hard because the stress of college late night study and trying to uh, stay up late, you know, I consistently had seizures and I just didn't, you know, I, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know if I was going to be able to finish and I really wanted to move on with my life. So I had contacted the Epilepsy Foundation. They are an organization based out in every state and I asked them, they have a magazine to publish my article and I, it was, I was asking people with epilepsy to tell me how they cope with the disorder. I, you know, back then there was five books on epilepsy in, in the market and there wasn't much information out there. The information that was out there was written by doctors, and the doctors basically wrote in medical terminology. So if you were just an individual that didn't have a medical background, you didn't understand really what they were trying to come across, the message they were trying to explain. And, um, you know, so I asked people, you know, how do they cope with this disorder? And to my surprise, I had about three or 400 letters from all over the United States and Canada come to my house, and people were telling me about their disorder, how they de dealt with epilepsy, how they got it, and what they do to overcome it. And it was amazing. And, and at that point, I didn't, I realized I'm not alone. There mm -hmm. are a lot of people out there with the same disorder that I have. And, you know, they had such inspiring stories. And, you know, and then you kind of, you know, you think to yourself, you don't feel sorry anymore because you know what? There are people out there that have it a lot worse than you do. And, you know, true. and yes. You know, so, you know, you try to, you know, I took all those encouraging stories and I used a lot of their, their knowledge and a lot of their advice and I, I put it towards good use. And I, I you know, I, I used a lot of it to try to get through college and it helped me. And then later on in life, you know, I started out, you know, working in the city and um, I was working for a lot of big companies and uh, I had a one really good job and I had had a grand mal seizure in the hallway. And then one of the uh, producers had seen me have a seizure and they um, they released me 
like 30 minutes after I had it. Yeah. You know, I, I went through college. I was feeling gun ho got into the big world. And then so that's when you kind of feel, you kind of realize what the world is really like. Mm. And it's not always so nice. And uh, so, you know, I didn't know what to do. So I, you know, I decided to, you know, what got me through was the positive thinking, all those stories. And I put those stories together and I contacted everybody. Everybody was really happy about it and they wanted me to do it. And I wrote a book called Epilepsy, You're Not Alone. It was a book that basically told people what epilepsy was, how to cope with epilepsy. And I put a lot of those stories about how those stories helped me. I put them in the book so they could help other people. And it was amazing because it, so many people contacted me. I had one person that said they were on the verge of suicide because they didn't know how to cope with their disorder. And they read that book and they had a will to live. They put, you know, they used a lot of the regimens I put in the book and they, you know, they applied it to their own life and they moved on. And, you know, it was then I realized, you know, I'm not meant to work in a big company. I'm mm -hmm. not meant to work as a, you know, a big CEO type girl, you know, having a martini on a Friday night, buying <laughs> pocketbooks. <laughs> you know, I'm meant to help people, you know, and, you. you know, and that's what I did. And then how did it lead you to become an expert in herbs and herbal remedies? Well, you know, what happened was is that I started I started also doing freelancing back then too. And I was I wrote I was writing books, I was write I was doing I I started a freelance business and I got came across a herbalist and he wanted a lot of research on a lot of different herbs and vitamins and he so for for a long time I was doing a lot of research and writing up about all these different vitamins and all these different supplements, what they did, and I was like, you know, a lot of this stuff sounds like it could help me. It's really amazing how, you know, how this stuff, how these herbs and the, how these supplements, how far they dated back, how they help people tens and thousands and hundreds of thousands of years ago and, you know, and how people are using them today to help sure. themselves. And Before I started modern using them. medication, they were using them. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Right. And I started and I started using a lot of these these different supplements and vitamins. I started changing my lifestyle of living. I started living a more holistic lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And you know, my seizures went from like nine seizures a month to six to five to four to three to two. And I was like, my whole health changed. And I was like, I realized how important it is. What we put in our body makes a huge difference. Thank you. The food for we put. That. The... Thank you. <laughs> You're That's very whole, welcome. That's what I've been doing and saying. For for 30 years, yes. <laughs> you know, people don't realize it, but, you know, our body, everything we put in our body, including the makeup and the lotions we put on our body, everything goes into our pores and our mouth, into our body. If our body doesn't know what that is, they store it, and as they store it in our body, it just accumulates, and it makes our, our organs more sluggish, and our, we don't function as well. And think about doing that for years and years and years and years, and how people, they come up, they come with all these different illnesses, then they're going and getting, they're getting a medication, and then that, and they're getting another medication, and then that medication is causing a side effect, then they're getting another medication to help that side effect, and then they want to know why their, their health is declining. Yes. Well, all this, this stuff just like like baffled me. And I started back then I started a little you remember Blogger? Yes, it was the, yes. it was like the back then it was like the, the big thing. I yes. started a little blog on Blogger from Google and I, you know, I, I started and I said, you know what, if all this stuff is helping me with my epilepsy, I said it could help people with all different conditions, not just epilepsy, because it was meant for everything, you know, people in general, even to maintain and just to tweak your health. So I started that little blog and I started talking about all different conditions and health. And then I started a website and that website grew to like o over 100,000, then 200,000, then 300,000 people. And it and it kept growing. And there's so many people out there that are looking for yes. better ways to heal their body yes. and they just don't know where to start. I was so excited. I wanted to be the person to tell them, you know, and I was the one that wanted to teach them. So that's what I've been dedicating my life because the few people came to me and said, oh my God, you changed my life. That was my passion incentive. That's yes. What you know, that feels great. I just it's a me. wonderful feeling. It really it's is. It's a wonderful to to feeling. Yes. And what is your website so people know? The website is thecompleteherbalguide.com. That's the same name as your book, and you, it is a beautiful website. You have a ton of information on there. But we do want to say you're not against medications. They have their place, no. but you are trying to help people either supplement or possibly reduce their medications. And let's just talk about exactly. where we are in this world today. There's a couple things I want to touch on. The first is 
immunity, immune system. That is affected by so many different elements and different outside conditions. And especially right now with COVID-19, we all want to make sure our immune system is as healthy as possible. So are there any particular herbs that you might recommend that we look into? Yeah, you know, there's a lot of different vitamins and herbs. I was always the type of person, if someone on the other side of the school coughed, I got it. I was, you know, I always had that that sluggish immune system. And when I got older, you know, I tried to work on boosting my immune system. And some of the great things that I felt that were very effective was vitamin C and zinc. Those are two vitamin and minerals that actually work really well together. And they help to boost the immune system. And they also help to reduce inflammation. And people don't realize when you feel bloated or you have inflammation, your immune system system is at your low. Your immune, your immune system can't function well if you are if you have inflammation in your body. Mm -hmm. And so the best thing to do is to work on decreasing your inflammation. And, you know, those those two vitamins are very good for boosting the immune system and helping to decrease inflammation. And vitamin D is also very good. And uh, and make sure that you also have good B vitamin, you know, that you're taking maybe a multivitamin or a vitamin like maybe B6. It's essential to keeping your immune system, you know, in top condition. And, of course, our nutrition is a big nutrition, factor in all of that. We could, we could do a whole separate interview on that, but we all know that eating healthy, trying to stay away from processed foods, of course. And I then, was just going to say that. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, it's uh, when you can't pronounce the ingredients. I said this in another interview. Oh, my I God. I say that all the time, too, when it. I speak. Mm-hmm. That's the truth. So, and then in addition to immune system, we also are under a tremendous amount of stress, which can affect our immune system. But as far as stress, are there any particular herbs or supplements that we could be taking to help with our huge level of stress and what's going on with this world today? You know, there are, are, you know, I I personally, when it comes to stress, I like essential oils. They have essential oils that um, are lavender. And you could even, you know, lavender is a hit or miss because there's like 50% like it, 50% don't. But it really works well. And if you put it on your body, you put it on your pillow, you put it in the air, you'll notice you'll start to calm down. There's also a supplement called passion flower that relaxes you too. If people are stressed out, passion flower really works well. They say it's the uh, the natural Xanax for people when they get anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good to know. And should you? be talking with your health care provider before you decide to supplement with any herbs? Oh, I, I think so. You know, especially if you are um, taking medications, because what people don't realize, a lot of pharmaceutical companies use a lot of supplements when they're making their medications because it's so effective. Supplements, you know, like millions of years ago, you know, that's that was like we just mentioned earlier, that was, you know, the medication, supplements, supplements herbs, roots, leaves, you know, these were things that were helping to heal people. And there still are, you know, a lot of pharmaceutical companies use a lot of different plants and supplements to help make medications. Now, when you think of that concept, think about, you know, you're, you're doing, you're using that. And then maybe you have, you're taking a blood pressure medication or a heart medication or, you know, a cholesterol, you know, or you're taking, you know, a medicine sure, for epilepsy people just look at herbs as, uh, you know, just an herb. It's not going to, but it, it can actually affect you. So you have to be really it could, careful yes, with that. It could, it could definitely affect you and it can affect you in a very bad way. So it's always good, especially if you take medication, you know, give a quick call to your doctor and say, you know, I'm interested in trying this supplement, you know, is, is it okay with my medication or is it okay? You know, do you, do you know, have you heard anything negative about it? That way you're on the safe side because you don't Absolutely. want anything to happen. And you have recently got involved with helping to people this is not, you know, a life or death situation, but losing your hair can be very hard to take. And a lot of people have suffered with hair loss because of the stress level right now. And you are helping to solve that problem with this uh, new product. Tell us about that. Yes, you know, I had um, I had written a few articles on my website, and so many people were getting in touch with me and asking me questions because they were so they were so interested in finding natural ways 
to help their their hair growth and their hair loss and they were a lot of I didn't realize even myself how many people struggle both men and women from hair loss and um, I had was I was working with a company called hair restorations laboratories and they have a product that is um, scientifically based where they work on blocking the DHT which is eaten for people who don't know what DHT is it is derived from testosterone usually 10 percent of our testosterone is converted into DHT and that kind of latches on to our hair follicles can slow and uh, it can shrink the hair follicles and cause hair loss and so what they do is they they have all these different natural vitamin supplements and minerals uh, to help block the DHT and my hair at one point wasn't its greatest and I started using their their products and my hair started to get more vibrant, started to grow more, and I noticed a change. When I looked in the mirror, it didn't have that dry, brittle look mm-hmm. that it once did had, and I was very impressed. So, you know, I have been working with this company, and I support this company by putting their stuff on my website, and I'm not trying to sell their product. I just like it because I think they are doing a great job. It works, and it's not overly priced. And, you know, being in my business, I have things sent to me all the time, and and so many people are trying to create products just to make a quick buck. And a lot of these products, you know, are overcharged. They're not good quality. And, you know, and, and, and you come across so many people trying to rip people off. Mm-hmm. And I never realized how vulnerable people are, too. And when I was working with Hair Restoration Laboratories, I was really impressed. So I wanted to support them. And I do like to mention them when I talk about hair loss because I didn't even realize how many people suffer from it. And now that I'm, I'm in my mid middle age, you know, category. I'm not going to say the age, you know, but <laughs> I'm in my middle age. You know, like I see a lot of my friends and, and other people around me starting to experience hair loss. And it's very traumatic yes. for both men and women. It is. All and, right. Well, um, you've, you've given us a lot of great information. We really appreciate that. And once again, it's called The Complete Herbal Guide. And your website is thecompleteherbalguide.com. There's a ton of information on there. You can check it out. Stacy Chalemi expert in herbs and natural remedies and we certainly appreciate your being with us today thank you so much oh uh, thank you so much for having me it's great talking to you you too you as well and that wraps it up for us on this edition of living well with robin stoloff empowering you to live a healthier life please sign up to get this weekly podcast and tips in your inbox to help you learn more and live better thank you so much for joining me we'll see you next time until then please stay safe and keep living well